In this session we shall see the design of highway with uniform cross section. The design is based on the alignment of the center line of the road passing through the center of the median or central verge of the dual carriageway road cross section. The main screen is opened, select working folder work located on the desktop. Next select file menu option new and then new open uniform section hill road design project. As the workspace opens, the current selected tab is Create Project, the project name is Hill Road Design, survey data type is Total Station, we click on button Open Tutorial Example Data, as the selection box comes, we select the first option for Design with Total Station Data and next the data is loaded. In this workspace we can open a previous design only if it was done earlier with this workspace. Any other project data file cannot be opened to process in this workspace. Next, we select the tab Process Survey Data, the current page is for Step 1 Ground Model. UTM Data Conversion is not selected here, we click on button Create Ground Model. The list of all the survey features are displayed. We select the desired color and click on button Apply to All to draw the ground model for all features with the selected color. Next, we select Page for Step 2 Triangulation, select all the survey features and process triangulation. As the process is over we select Page for Step 3 Contour. We create the contour model and save the contour model in the model files. Next we draw the contour model and the contours are displayed. Next, we select Tab Hill Road and the current page is for Step 4 for design of horizontal alignment of the center line of the road. We select the option Halen Coordinate Inputs Traverse IPS. First the list of coordinates as traverse intersection points are processed to create the Halen data, next the Halen data will be processed to design the horizontal alignment of the proposed road center line. The coordinate data is displayed and we click on Proceed. The design is done and the design report is written in file halenment.rep. Next we click on button View Halen Design for String M001 and display Shenage and details on the alignment string. Next we select Step 5 to choose Dual Carriageway Cross Section Type TCS01 from the available typical cross section types to apply uniformly from Start Shenage to End Shenage and we click the button Save Sedol Data, in the trial or evaluation version user is not required to save the Sedol Data.
Next we select step 6 for design of vertical profile of the road center line. We click on button create ground long section and as it is created we draw the ground long section. Next, we select the option process via line design data. The data is displayed and we click on button proceed. The design is done and the design report is written in file via alignment.rep. Next, we draw the vertical profile. We display the grid and vertical details along the design string M001. Next we select step 7 to define cross section, interface, and create cross section. The current page is to define cross section dimensions for median or central verge, main carriageways, earth and shoulders, or sidewalks, left and right service roads as applicable by following the typical cross section type sedol for various shenage sections as done in the last step. We can change values for various items as desired. We click on button save data. Next, we select the page interface to create data for stepped embankment slopes on left and right hand sides in cut and fill situations. Next, we select the page to create cross section, we click on button process cross section data. The process box comes with list of batch processes in proper sequence. We click on button proceed to process each step with the related data as displayed in the lower part of the process box. Every time we click on button yes. to draw the strings after all the processes are over and finally we click the button finish and next all the strings which are just created are drawn as shown in the display. The entire design is now displayed on the plan window of the screen.
We click on button Create Cross Section Drawings. As the process is over we select a desired Shenage from the list of Chiage sections to view the plan and the related cross section. Next we select step 8 to define pavement layers separately for the left and right carriageways of the main road. The data is displayed for pavement layers in main carriageways on the left and right throughout the alignment of the road. If we want to modify the data the same may be done in the display of the data or alternatively by clicking the button define pavement layers and modify the data for each Shenage section by selecting from the Sedol loading default data. Saving the data for each schedule. Next, we click on button process data to create the pavement layers in the road cross sections. Next, we select step 9 for estimation of quantities for earthwork and pavement layers. The default data is displayed on the screen. We can make modifications in various values, if desired. We click on button process data. Next, Step 10 to create project drawings for construction. The first page is for alignment schematics. We skip process data and to create the drawings for horizontal and vertical alignments in two successive processes. Next, we select the page plan to create plan drawing for various strings listed in the box. Next, we select the page profile to create profile drawing for various strings listed in the box. The start and end shenichs are already displayed by taking from the previous design steps. The default length of road per sheet is always for the full length of the road alignment. This may be changed to 1000, in case the length of 1 km per sheet is desired. The horizontal scale is to be given suitably to fit the drawing to the length of the drawing sheet. The vertical scale should be one-tenth of the horizontal scale. We click on button process data to create the drawings. Next, select the page cross section to create cross section drawings at a given interval for the given length of the road. The start shenage, end shenage, scale, sheet size, and other data are given in the page. We can modify the data if desired. We click on button, process data, and a set of cross-section drawings are created. Finally, we select step 11 to view various data files design report files and design drawings now available with us. Click on button create update project data file.
we can view the project data file, survey data file and various design report files by using respective buttons. We can view the design drawings in the CAD viewer by selecting from the list in the CAD viewer and save the drawings by selecting a desired format. This is the end of the current session for the design of Hill Road by using total station survey data and we close the workspace by saving the project data file. Thank you.